back to my channel. I'm Arlen. As you guys might know, if you don't, I'm Arlen. And today I'm doing a reading vlog. The camera's kind of crooked, but as character, right? I am in my pajamas because as Albert Einstein once said, what better way to read than in pajamas? <laughs> I've never done a reading vlog before. This is my first ever reading vlog. I am super excited because I they just look so much fun and I've seen them all over booktube yeah i just really wanted to do one and that's what we're going to be doing today if you've watched my other videos you might know that i just finished the lunar chronicle series since i loved them so much i had to get the next sequel i'm not actually sure if this is a sequel i don't know what this is but it's by the same author and it has the same characters that's all i know that's all i needed to know before i got the book and it's called stars above by marissa meyer the only thing i know about this book i think is that it's a collection of short stories there's like lines in here i think that's probably where the stories end and start that's pretty much all i know i don't know what the stories are about at all but yeah i'm just really excited to start this book and i am so glad that you guys decided to join me and read along with me i'm just really excited right now guys so i think without further ado let's get into reading the picture at the beginning of the book they're gonna open the door but like i didn't lock it because i'm gonna be reading for a while so like i didn't want to have to i don't know but i hope i hope they don't come in because i'm in the middle of reading i don't think they're coming so i think we're good to keep on reading <laughs> Alright guys, so I just finished the first story in Stars Above and basically I don't really have much thoughts about it. I think it was really cool that we got to know more of Scarlet's grandmother's past and Cinder's past really and also like, you know, just like what happened because we didn't really get that in the Little Chronicles which was really cool to see in this book. It was pretty good so I think I'm going to probably read another one of these stories today and then that might be it for today, I don't know. We'll see how I feel. What's up everybody? I'm back. So I just went and got some food because I was hungry and didn't eat anything yet today. And it's like two o'clock. I'm re-energized now. And so I'm going to read more of this. So the first story in this book, which I just read, was kind of just like backstory for Michelle, which was Scarlett's grandmother. And that was really cool. So that story was very interesting. It was pretty short. I think all of these stories are really short so we should be able to get through this book probably hopefully within a few days at least at the very at the very longest but yeah so i'm gonna hop into the next story and if i have any interesting thoughts about it i'll share with you guys i think it's just a tiny bit shorter than the other one so we'll read that and i'll update after i read it I just finished the second story it was so sad and uh, it was just so sad like I'm not gonna give any spoilers but let's just say something happened I mean obviously it was expected but like it was just really sad and uh yeah I'm not gonna tell you what happens but basically the story was like a background of Audrey and if that's how you pronounce it I don't know Audrey I don't know, but basically uh, Cinder first coming to the house with her new family and it was really interesting and I liked it. It was really cool, except, you know, the ending was really <laughs> sad. I don't know why I laughed when I said that. <laughs> what am I laughing right now? I don't know, but it was really sad and I really like um, Peony. I don't know, is that how you pronounce it? Fio Fioni? I... I feel like I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. I don't really care. Don't tell me in the comments if I'm pronouncing it wrong because I don't want to know. Do you guys ever like read something in your mind like a lot when you're reading and just have never said it out loud and then suddenly when you like say it out loud you're like wait is that how it was pronounced because that happens to me literally like in everything so i'm just like reading the book and then i actually say it out loud and i'm like wait that is so not how it that that didn't sound right that's not how it's pronounced at all so that story was sad but also really interesting i think i liked it better than the first one i have so much sympathy for cinder i love cinder she's just I love Cinder. I would love to be friends with Cinder. She just like needs more love and needs more people to care about her, but like she's so awesome and I would love to be her friend. So that's really sad that she doesn't really have anyone to love her, but 
now she does what with kai and all and her friends so yeah that was just a really interesting story and those are my thoughts on that i don't know if i'm gonna read any more today i might go on a run i think it was raining earlier today so we'll see if it's still raining but either way i'll see you guys later <sighs> what's up guys <sighs> i decided to go on a run and it started raining i am enjoying it though because it's only very lightly sprinkling i think i'm gonna keep on going because i want the exercise Throwing around because I saw a human. I'll check in you guys in a minute. <sighs> okay, so I just ran like a mile since I updated you guys. It's kind of like, like it's not boring, but like it's definitely raining now. Oh man, it's raining even more. <sighs> I'm heading back home right now. So about like half a mile until I get there. So maybe I should run what's up everybody i am so happy right now because school's over for today so we are going to read some of this right now just changed into my sweater which i love the sweater i wear like all the time i mean like it's not even winter it's not even technically fall yet although i think we all want it to be fall fall is just the best season i just got back put up my pajama pants because it's freezing in here and i wanted to be comfortable and cozy during this reading sesh I'm not sure what time it is like three something almost four or maybe it's like four i think that i'm going to try to read at least one story right now just looking at it the next two stories are kind of bigger compared to what they usually have been so an update last night i read the story about carswell thorn and it was really interesting i think it was really weird because like the whole story was just like him you know if you read it you know flirting with well, flirting, like just ripping people off, being car spell thorn, basically. That was really interesting to get to know more his backstory because we didn't know any of his backstory really from the Lunar Chronicles. We didn't get to know anything about him. So I think that was really interesting. But also something that was weird, weird fact. I actually really liked Kate Fallow. So it's really weird because I really like Thorn and Crest together. But when you get to know like Thorn's backstory and when you get to see him as a younger kid, and literally a story with Kate Fallow. I'm like, actually, I love Kate Fallow. Maybe not with Thorn, but it's just really weird to have like another person that you really like with Thorn. Comment if you like Kate Fallow, if you read the book. I think it was really good. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The story before that, The Queen's Army, I had already read that. I think it was like in the back of Cress or something. I had already read that. It was just like a sneak peek and so I skipped that. And so we got like kind of close to halfway done with the book. I think let's just get to the story because I want to have time to hopefully at the very least read one before I have to, I don't know, like eat dinner or something. I mean, like it's only like four. So let's get on to the next story. <laughs> I just read Sybil Mira or Sybil Mira or whatever her name is. She just said, reading is a privilege that you have not yet earned. Okay, so I just finished the story about Cress going to her satellite. Um, my heart. Well, I mean, like, it wasn't that sad, but, like, just, like, a little girl, like, nine years old, being sent off to a satellite, like, we read that in, like, 20 minutes. That was pretty quick. That was faster than I thought we would read one story. So we definitely, good news, have time to read another one, although it does look like it's pretty long. That one actually wasn't a long one. It looks like it's the longest one in this book, possibly, tied with maybe a different one, but I just read the title. I think it's about Jocelyn and Winter. Okay, I know his name is pronounced Jason, but I... I just like saying Jocelyn. It's like, that that's his name to me, Jocelyn. So I'm gonna call him Jocelyn. Winter was my favorite book out of the Blue New Chronicles. They were all so good, but I think possibly Winter is my favorite. And I think that's because I really, really like Winter and Jocelyn the relationship. So I'm like so excited to read this. Let's just um get into the next story. are dead my eyes are dead <laughs> so i just finished what was it called was it called like the princess and the guard the princess and the guard okay i'm looking what it was called yeah it was called the princess and the guard so i just finished the princess and the guard and 
it was my favorite one so far. I told you before I read it that Winter and Jason, Jason, not Jason, Jason, <laughs> Winter and Jason, Winter and Jason's relationship, like Winter was my favorite book, like I said, because I just, I don't know, I just, I love them. I love like both of them. This is just random. If I could marry any one of the people from here, it would be Jason. And after that would probably be Wolf and then Kai and then Thorn. I'm not a huge fan of Thorn, okay? I mean, he's not bad. I still like him. I just, no. Like, we would not, no. I, I wouldn't, I would never get with a guy like that. Uh, no. So, um, they were so cute as little kids, though. Like, at the beginning when they were, like, playing princess and the guard or whatever, they were so cute. Oh, man, the depth it goes into. And, like, the fact that those stories had been said in the other books and that we got to actually see them in this book was just so cool and i loved that so yeah um uh, my eyes are dead like i said they're already feeling better to be honest i told you i can't read for more than like two hours two or three hours without like my eyes just dying i need at least a 30 minute break i'll probably read more tonight and update you guys on the story it's called the little android i would uh, guess that would be a story about eco or slash Ico, whatever, whatever. But yeah, I don't know. That'd be interesting. I also know that surely in here, there has to be a story that has to do with the picture at the beginning. As you guys can see, I'm definitely over halfway now. I'm getting really close to finishing this book, so I'll probably end up finishing this book tomorrow and give you my thoughts on the book yeah so i will see you guys later also i forgot to mention this but i'm really curious so please tell me your favorite couple from the lunar chronicles like you know cinder and kai Cress and thorn wolf and scarlet so definitely let me know in the comments down below hello guys it's the next day and i have three stories left until i finish this book so i'm really really hoping to finish that today so my goal start reading right now finish the story it's one of the longer ones so we're gonna be here a while but i think my plan is just to start reading right now as soon as possible and currently it's wednesday and my goal is to finish at the very latest on thursday currently we're on schedule i am excited about the next one because i feel like it's gonna be about eco or Echo, or whatever her name is. Echo. I call her Echo. Let's go. read it to you real quick <laughs> still on the hanging walkway miko screamed dartaran pushed her out of the way the arm of the crane cracked against his head the sound reverberating right into meg 6.0's hard plastic shell he was unconscious before his body fell into the oil vat below i don't know what's gonna happen but I i'm just gonna read more because surely he didn't die i don't even know who this is like i just read the first few pages with him but i don't want him to die <laughs> What just happened? What? Okay. <laughs> so, I just finished the story. I think it was called The Little Android. It was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. It was probably either my second favorite one. Okay, it was either my favorite or my second favorite one. I legit, like, I... I have no idea what the ending was to that. If you've read this book and you know what that meant, <laughs> please tell me in the comments because I don't even... I'm so confused. Okay, first of all, was that Iko? I guess we'll probably find out, maybe? Or was that just like a random android? I have no idea. I'm assuming those characters weren't mentioned before, but were they? I don't know. I don't remember those people. So was that just a r absolutely random story? And also, what was the ending? Like, I literally am so confused. The ending. So what happened? Did like Miko stay back and did like the android shapeshift into her and just pretend to be her so that Miko could stay there and that she fooled her dad into thinking she was Miko and went off to space with him. I have no idea what just happened. If you know what happened at the ending, please tell me. 
<laughs> please tell me but it was such a good story i loved the story it was it was so good i really enjoyed it i'm not joking it took me like an hour and 20 minutes to read i don't know if that's super slow or fast or normal i think i have time to read another one right now so that's really good and the whole time legit like i thought that was Iko. i i seriously thought that was Iko. it had to be Iko, right like that that was Iko. i guess i'm gonna start reading the next one right now but i really really need water i don't know why i'm like so thirsty i'm going to go get water and then i'll come back and read the story share my thoughts with you guys other than that i hope you're doing well and if you want to get something to drink along with me uh now's your chance because i am going to get some water so i'll see you guys in about one second i'm starting the next story now the mechanic So that was a really good story. The story I just read was called The Mechanic. It was the first chapter in Cinder, except it was in Kai's perspective, so that was really cool. My hair is just so messy right now, I don't care. It was really short. That might have been the shortest one. Actually, I think the shortest one was the one with Cress. Still, it was one of the shortest ones. Oh, man. Cinder and Kai. Oh, man. I didn't know Kai liked Cinder that much when he first met her. Like, in the first chapter of Cinder, it was obvious that something was going on, but like, I didn't think it was that much i'm speaking in riddles here but like if you know what i mean i didn't know he like already liked her that much clearly they have something for each other and oh man the end of the lunar chronicles i can't even if you haven't read the lunar chronicles please you i really recommend reading them uh, they're just so good i literally just finished the lunar chronicles a few days ago so go read them they're great so probably i'll see you guys tomorrow because even if i do read the last chapter tonight i'm not going to be able to film anything because it'll be at night have a good evening slash good night slash good morning and i'll see you tomorrow it's the next day thursday the last day of this reading vlog because i have one story left and i'm literally going to read that right now so i'm not gonna vlog it because it's taking up so much storage and i realized that i probably shouldn't have been recording the whole time i was reading but it's too late now i'll share with you guys my thoughts on the overall book and the last story after i read it in a few seconds so i'll see you in a few seconds <laughs> guys somehow some way and by that i mean totally expected in every way i just finished stars above it took me like an hour and 30 minutes to read that story if you can tell my hair is like kind of like dried out now it's kind of funny yeah so i just finished the last story which was called something old something new first of all i always get just like sad when i finish a book for me when i finished winter it was really sad but i also knew that there were also other books by her like this one that came after it so i wasn't as sad knowing that so finishing this it's just emotional ish it's just so good and like i know i still have ferris to read i think ferris is mainly just about lavana i don't even know if any of those characters are in it this is kind of just like the end of the lunar chronicles and so it was just kind of sad but it was really good and I had a lot of fun reading it i'm really glad that i did a reading vlog this was really fun and it took me a total of four days to read this book so that's not that's not too bad you will certainly like it if you really like the lunar chronicles i think so yeah overall if you like the lunar chronicles i highly suggest stars above i think it's gonna wrap it up for this reading vlog finished it finished the book in four days if you guys like this video don't forget to leave a like subscribe and comment if you want to i would love to hear any of your thoughts about the lunar chronicles or just about anything in general i am planning on coming out with a books that i really want to read video probably on honestly really soon maybe even like a few days from now so hopefully i'll see you there thanks for watching my video if you have any questions you guys can email me at redmontapprentice.gmail.com and i'll hopefully see you guys in my future videos bye also have a great day